An investigation into an alleged hazing incident involving a Rentham High School football program. Student athletes at King Philip Regional High School were at a football camp in Maine when the alleged incident took place. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa is live in Rentham with what we know about the investigation. Tammy. Chris, and tonight, some students say this hazing investigation is concerning because somebody could have gotten hurt in these incidents. But some parents say the school district is just overreacting. The KP Warriors have made headlines for their winning track record, but now the entire football program is at the center of a hazing investigation. School district officials say upperclassmen forced 10th grade players to participate in boxing matches set up by the upperclassmen. It was during football camp in Maine last month. It's unfortunate to hear, you know, um, it's not a good look for the team, obviously. I don't think that this was a majority of the kids at all. Administrators say they found out about the troubling and disappointing incident after camp ended. The investigation started with students and families and went all the way up to the varsity head coach. The Rentham Police Department is also in the loop. I think it's over the top. I think people are way overreacting. No coaches were present during the fights and no one was hurt. That's why parents like Joe Oban say the investigation is an overreaction. One son used to play football, another will join next year. I'm sure none of these kids are trained boxers, so no one's out there throwing punches like a Vander Holyfield. You know what I mean? Uh, I would be more concerned with them hitting each other and, you know, head injuries due to football rather than, you know, some boxing matches at camp. But the King Philip class president says there's still a risk. Obviously, you don't want people picking on people, and if these kids were uncomfortable doing this, then that's obviously wrong. But even if they were comfortable, I think it's a risk to injury, and that alone should be a reason not to do it. And the allegations alone meet the legal definition of hazing and policies outlined in the school handbook, according to administrators. In a letter to the community, they said, we will not tolerate any form of bullying, harassment, or hazing. I hope that we've learned from our mistakes and that this won't happen again. And now coaches, captains, and players will have to have special mandatory training. The school district is also saying they're reconsidering whether or not students can go to off-site camps. Live in Rentham, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News. All right, Tammy, good information there.